miteinander. Guten Morgen und willkommen auch Pokémon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Darkness. Guys, today we're reattempting this. And I know in the title of yesterday's video, I said this is literally impossible. And that's not a lie. Probably is. Because uh, we got destroyed. However, thinking back on it, there were a few things we can do differently that may actually help us. For example, this Kangaskhan statue. Oh. This is only a save point. Well, never mind. That scratched off one of the things I was going to say. Uh, I was going to say we could use Kangaskhan here to get rocks, but apparently not. All right, so what we can do, though, first of all, when we get there, I can change Ethan to water immediately. And also, the apples. We don't need these. So I'm going to be eating them a lot more than I did last time. And uh, we're going to pick up that power band. I think that's going to help us a lot. Did you hear that, Lynx? So I didn't imagine that sound after all. It was like some sort of roar, but I wonder what it could be. Who knows what's ahead? But let's be brave, and let's keep on going. We're nearly there. All right, okay. If you guys really want to see all this dialogue, uh, please watch yesterday's episode. We, uh, we, we already saw all this. Can we get moving, please? There's so much to do, please. You, what, on the bank, I'm gonna do this. It was easy, I just burned the flesh of all the people inside and took their money. <laughs> Did the money come on fire? It wasn't a very successful heist. Well, now we just have one more reason to get to the top. <laughs> what are criminals, hooray! <laughs> That's the spirit, Ethan. That's the jolly old spirit. All right, here we are. Okay, so let's look for that power berry. I, I think it's probably gone. I think every floor is randomized every time. So, I don't think we're gonna- oh, hi, okay. Hmm, interesting. Just a bunch of cricket tunes wandering over here. Brit, what you got there? Is that a treasure box? Is that a treasure box? A cute box, eh? Uh, do I still have all my treasure boxes? Didn't I pick some up or something? Wait, where are they? I had picked up, like, two of them. What the hell? Okay, well, whatever. I don't know what happened to them. I sure I grabbed a few of them. I feel like I, I did. Who cares? I don't I don't even remember. At this point, all I remember is the pain and suffering I endured from Groudon. Uh, if I recall correctly, there should be eight floors before we get there. So, got a little ways to go here. Oh, hi. Hello. How would you like your eyes ripped out of your skull? Ow, that's not nice. What the heck was that? Poison jab! What the hell? Why do you know Poison Jab? Oh god. Hush! Alright, Ethan, please stay on land. I can't follow you if you go in water. Oh, hello there. Got to kill you quickly. And there you go. Alright, we gotta go over here. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's a spirit, buddy. Wait, what? I can't even get over there. Uh-oh. Got to go this way, then, I see. Take like way over here in this corner. Bye-bye! Alright, there it is. Oh, wait, we got an orb. A luminous orb. Okay, what do you do again? Info. Oh. Okay, we don't need that. However, that spike there does look rather useful. Since we can't get rocks from Kangaskhan, I'll just take this thing and chuck it at his face. See, the reason we need this, in case you weren't here yesterday, these items do a certain amount of damage. They do a set amount of damage every time you throw it. It will never change. So now that we have these, every time Groudon like backs up from us or whatever, I can just turn and be like, "Whoa!" and just whip one of those out like a kunai. So he'll be taking some damage. Whoa, dude, it's it's Granbull. What the heck? I didn't see you at all yesterday. I didn't know you were in this dungeon. That's awesome. Good to see you. We were just talking about your evolution earlier. Yeah, we were talking about good old Snubble. 
That's pretty cool. Who else is in here that we didn't see? Ah, uh, dude, now I'm all curious. Who else is here? <gasps> dude, guys, did you know there's a cricket tune in here? I doubt it. I doubt you ever saw one of those in your life. Slumber Orb? Okay, you know what? Wasn't really feeling it last time. We're gonna take the Slumber Orb because you know what? It might work. I don't know. We're gonna try it. At this point, we gotta try everything different because uh, last time didn't go so well for us. Okay, we could just leave, but I want to actually explore the dungeon because I want to see if there's any items. Because right now, that's going to be the difference between now and then. Because we didn't really use items before. At least not against Groudon, specifically. Oh, oh what? You're strong, Shuckle. Powerful little creature, aren't you? Okay, this doesn't seem to be anything here. I don't, I don't want to waste too much time here. Goodbye. Ethan! Hey, what can you learn, buddy? <gasps> Bide! We didn't, okay. You know what, go for it, man. Just go for it. At this point, it might be our only savior. Because if I can give him an Orenberry before he dies from uh, Groudon, Bide might actually save us. That might be useful. You know what? I'm going to have him use that against Groudon. That might actually be what wins this. <gasps> a move! What is it? Energy ball. No, that's a grass type move. But I am okay with this. I am okay with this. I will eat an apple. Give me that move, please. I wonder if Baneary can learn that. That would be cool. Speaking of, I'm going to be a Baneary. So once we defeat Groudon, I'm going to go back to that dungeon and get Baneary. So if it can learn energy ball... Look at that. I'm gonna have a cool move. <clears throat> All right, almost there. Floor five. Saddening, in a way, that uh, everything is randomized. <laughs> so we're not probably gonna get the good old... Uh, oh, what was that thing called? It was, it was a scarf. I forget its name, but it was gonna give us power, basically. And now it's gone forever. The what are the odds we actually find it again? <gasps> oh, hey! Oh, embargo. That, well, okay, I'm taking this anyway. Just because it's a move. We can sell that and get good money. Alright, floor six. Almost there. Almost there! Another move! What the hell? This is awesome! We're finding all the moves! Keep them coming, please. I'll take all of these. Oh, I'm about to die. Uh, Ethan! Oh my god. I just lost a reviver to this useless freaking magmar. Did that seriously just happen to me? Like, what the hell? Another energy ball. I can sell that. Heck yeah. I'll take that. Thank you. Ow! What? suck are you not dead die I burned you alive no die all right there's the stairs all right this is it we're gonna find the stairs and I'm gonna swap Ethan over to buy and water gun or bubble or whatever he has dive Okay, we need to use that right now. What? I can't use that? Why can't Ethan learn that? Bruh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, we're not gonna need that max elixir. Uh, items, where is it? I know he can use this. There's like no way he can't. Seriously? He can't? He's a water type! What is this nonsense? <gasps> Special band. I need that. I need that. Where's that magmar? I need that. We're not leaving till we find his corpse. Oh, hi. You might be who I'm looking for. Okay. Uh, hmm. I don't like where this is going. Ow. Okay, that did a lot. Why is Magmar so powerful? Nice. Give me the power, Magmar. Okay, so... We need to swap this. Uh, we'll swap for, 
Hmm. Oh, plane seed. Yeah, perfect. That works. What's that? Okay, well, they're like way down there. Doesn't matter. All right, here we go. All right, Ethan moves. How do I do this? Select. All right, he's going to use bubble and bide. I think those will be contributing factors into saving us. And right off the bat, I'm going to do this so I don't have to do it later. Where is it? This we're going to give. And I'm going to give that to Ethan. And as for the special band, where's that? I'm going to give this to me. All right, let's go. All right, fingers crossed now. Let's hope this works. Yeah, I'm sure it does. Does it seem oddly familiar to you? Because you got the living crap beat out of you here. Not too long ago. It's the sound we heard earlier. Yeah, the sound of demons. There he is. You can already see his feet. You see him pounding towards you. <laughs> I freaking face every time, I swear. It's the stupidest looking thing, and it's just like, what the heck? Hey, hey, hey. Okay, we saw all this yesterday, so uh, if you're curious about all this dialogue and you want to hear the voice acting, go back, go back and watch it. I, I really don't feel like redoing all this. I just want to kill Groudon and get a Veneri at this point. Which is what we're going to be doing, by the way, if we do manage to win here. We're going to go back and get Veneri. Called a demon. Or to Laudrin. Daddy! I'm sure they're related somehow. Because you know Laudrin's so loud. Oh, this! Oh, you just demanded it, my dragon do son! Yep, nope. And over there. Meanwhile. <laughs> wow, we were all sucked dry. Kill me! Oh, dear God, I don't get paid enough for this. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them all just wiggle. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, here we go. Okay, all right, back to the show. Your regularly scheduled programming. Okay. Oh, hi there, sir. You seem friendly. Can I call you Daddy? Oh, please. Okay, uh-huh. God, on Bone Lake. I am the guardian. Oh, great, he's mad. Now he wants to kill us all. Ah, right, here we go. Yeah, everybody's gonna crawl in there. Yeah, they got core fish. They're fine. Oh, shit, Todd doesn't like this idea. He doesn't work with, he doesn't want to work with core fish. What if we what if you were such a fool? What would happen? Battle out of the question. Oh, if anyone were foolish enough to face ground on battle, will it be like throwing your life away? He's that strong, like a legendary Pokemon. I love that line, like it's so oh my god. Ethan, you're gonna die, dude. You're going to die. We're doomed! I really love, like, this is the second game in the series, and I love how it went from the first boss being Skarmory to a freaking Groudon. Like, holy jeez, Game Freak. All right, here we go. Items. We're starting off right. We're going with the slumping b- oh! What the hell? A mysterious power my ass! And he's already using bulk up. Okay, well, we've already screwed up. Okay. That's cool, bro. That's cool. Okay, uh, Ethan used Bide, and, uh, well, you see here. Yes! He did some damage to Ethan! The victory is ours! That's right, hit- okay, okay, alright. I, I feel you, fam, I feel you. Uh, your foot is technically within range, so I'm gonna assume that this will hit. Probably not, but we're gonna find out here. Where the heck- where are the things? Here they are. Maybe I'll hit your- hit your toes! 
Uh, no. Crap! I wasn't even in the way for the. No! Oh, God, okay. The wheel. Oh, yeah, the wheel. Okay, we're doing so much damage. We're doing so much more damage. He even freaking missed. He even missed. Oh! Bro, you're going down. You stand not even a chance! Ethan, can you please? Oh my god. Okay, well, we've done so much more damage than last time. I think this time he's gonna die. Okay, yeah, he did abide. Yeah, okay. We've got this, bro. We've got this. That's right. Hit Ethan. All right, now, Ethan. How do I... What? Where's Ethan's thing? Where's Ethan's thing? Which one does he have? This? Use. What? This game is determined to have me lose to Groudon! Holy shit! One hit! Okay, well, that's good. He used the berry. Ow. Aya! Is this guy like immortal? Oh my god, die! Oh my god, it's like it doesn't want us to play the game! Groudon's just like, you ain't allowed to win! Oh, I probably should have eaten the berry there. Oh, I'm out of... Oh, hmm, okay. Uh, where... Here we go. Oh god, okay, okay, okay! Okay, where's a, uh, where are, where are they? I'm gonna eat one of those, please. Oh God, his attack and his defense. It's like he's just becoming so powerful. No! We're already at the point now we're not doing damage. Okay, at this point we're just holding out. Ho hopefully Bide will do something. Let's cross our fingers here! Nope. Crap, every time he dies, Bide resets. <gasps> Ooh, but water still does something. Oh, thank God. Yeah! Come on, Ethan, get him! Ow, okay, he's coming after me now. Oh, God, okay. I think we're dead. I think we're done. Is that it? Do we have anything? We have not even one left. Gentlemen, I salute you. You have worked hard! You've worked bravely! Oh god. Come on, ugly, fight me, not him! Ha! Oh god, no. He's not gonna come back in time, is he? Crap. Oh no! No! Okay, okay. What do I have? Do I have anything? Do I have any orange berries? I have. Oh, I have two. I have two. Okay, give. Why can't I give him the berry? What is this garbage? This game is determined to not let me win! Oh! oh god, it's nothing! Oh dear god. We're gonna die here. I did nothing! Okay, thank god. Okay, Ornberry, please give Ethan! Ethan, eat it now! Ethan! You didn't shove that down your throat fast enough, buddy. Uh. Oh, boy. Okay, so Bide is useless. Bide is ultimately useless. But I think we can do this. We can win. I just have to not put Bide on him now. All he needs... Is freaking bubble and we'll win. All right, I think we we've come to that uh, that conclusion. So let's restart this here. Oh my goodness gracious, what what a journey, guys. Okay, so we know what we have to do now. We we have figured out what needs to be done here. What needs to be done here is that we need more water. But now we're gonna win because we're not gonna screw up with Bide. I'm not gonna lose a reviver seed to a freaking magmar, and we'll just kill Groudon. We will kill him. This is this is a definite. Oh my 
gosh, Groudon is so tough. How did I do this as a child? I think that's the better question. Because as I've said before, I have beaten this game. I've gotten a lot farther into this game. I'd like to know how I did it. Because this is like, this is so hard. And I have to sit here and listen to this every freaking time. <gasps> I may kill him off screen. I don't know. Like, if I just can't seem to do this on camera, I may have to do it off screen. Like, just grind for hours. Because I don't want to keep recording this over and over again, you know? But I, I have faith this will be the last time. I think this will be it. Because we came pretty close. I feel like we did. Like... We did a lot of damage. And another thing is, it is a numbers game. It really depends on how much Groudon uses that, uh, the bulk up. Because at some point, after a few uses of it, we just start doing no damage whatsoever. Like, we're just doing two to one damage, which is pathetic. Also, the sticks are useless, too. They did not do what I thought they were going to do. I thought they had a base set damage. Because usually when I use them, they always do, like, 20-some damage. Uh, so I just assumed it was universal. I guess not. Apparently, they ha they do all kinds of damage. Sometimes, absolutely none. So, yeah. Oh, a Grand Bull! Hi! I'm gonna murder you now. Whoa, what the- Fire Fang, nice, dude. Get out of here. Freaking Fire Fang in me. Man, it really sucks I'm gonna lose the Energy Ball, too. I really wanted that. That was a cool move! Hopefully we'll find it again, but, oh, such a good move, man. I would have loved to have had that, because I'm pretty sure Baneary can learn that, too. I could have had a cool move, guys. I'm sad about that, honestly. But now I know where I could potentially find one. Oh, God, Magmar. Okay, we ain't screwing around here. Okay, uh, already off the bat, failing against Magmar. Nice, okay, great, wonderful. It's like a Merry Christmas in here. Bye-bye. All right, Royal Gummy, uh, we're just gonna swap. I want that gum. Gotta give it to me in the future. Bruh, there's a Krikatoon here. I'm gonna go murder him now. Hello? Krikatoon! Bruh, Krikatoon's be picking up everything. Oh, hey! Hi there! How would you like to be burned alive at 200 degrees? Oh, perfect. I'm, I see the apple somehow survived the, the severe burns. Must have been a magical one then, eh? <laughs> oh god, that poor lady, she just got murdered. Oh, we didn't find the money, that's fine. I'm not gonna waste my time here trying to find it. However, I will waste my time getting that. That is useful. Oh, okay, hi there. Um, yeah, this will probably kill you. Or, you know, I'll just miss everything. Okay. Just a, a game of misses over here. Dude, the RNG, I swear, it's terrible. Ow. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This, this is bad. Uh, Ethan! Ethan! I'm gonna scratch this guy up. Nice. Ethan killed that bug. Oh my god. Burn him alive! It's an exoskeleton. Alright, we're gonna swap that apple. Thank you. I want the gummies for after we win, because uh, if you haven't been paying attention, they increase your stats sometimes, and they give you good perks sometimes. So, I want to shove those down in his throat and uh, hope for the best. What the hell? Oh, Illuminous. Well, see you around, loser. I ain't dealing with you. What's over there? What could it be? <gasps> what could it be? The Petra Scarf. We don't need that. That will not help us here. Okay, we're gonna go here. Five. Almost there. Almost there. We're gonna go up, because I got a good feeling about it. Brit, best feeling I ever had. Oh, hi. Um, hmm, okay. Listen, buddy, I need you to not do that, okay? Now, I know that may seem shocking, but ow. Okay, is this like karma for saying I didn't need the frickin' Petra Scarf? Because if so, screw you. Okay, stop that. 
Mini. He a big old Mini. Transfer Orb, eh? Black Gummy, interesting. All right, we'll take that too. I'll swap an apple for it. I really shouldn't be giving up these apples, but at this point, doesn't matter. If we can't get out of here, they serve no purpose to me. Oh, hi. Hello there. Nice uh, teeth you have. Or uh, what would you call those? Are those considered your teeth? Oh, okay, don't kill me. Thank you. Ah, perfection. All right. Oh. Oh. Um, I'm just gonna, yeah. Um, no, no! What? Oh, thank God. Okay, okay, okay. We're alive. We're alive. We're alive and well. Turn our and berry. Oh, thank God. That was terrifying. I almost lost a freaking revolver. No! Ethan, please! Thank God. Oh my God. I just lost a freaking Orenberry. And it never should have happened to begin with. Okay, all right. Is everyone ready? We're about to enter pain and suffering. Just bubble. All you need is bubble. When in doubt, use bubble. Okay, and also I'm going to give you this because last time it was being annoying and really wouldn't let me feed you a berry. And I know uh, you're going to need that berry. So there you go. Gosh almighty. Oh, I hope this is it. I hope this is the last time I ever have to look at this guy. Because I really don't want to do this ever again. Oh, and just so you guys know, in case you're curious, I will be recording post-game stuff. <laughs> I know that's a long ways off. But when we get there, I will be doing that. However, I am not a huge fan of legendary Pokemon. So if you're expecting to see the legendaries be used in the post game, because if you're familiar with this game, you know that you can become different Pokemon. Uh, I'm not going to be using them. So uh, don't stick around thinking, oh, he'll he'll be a Groudon someday. Because nope, this is not happening. I don't, I don't like the legendaries. They've never appealed to me and they're way too overpowered. So it's like, I, I don't want to use them. I'd much rather use, like, these guys, like, just regular generic Pokemon, just try to have a cool, cool adventure with our pals and whatnot, you know. Gosh, the story elements. Well, at least now you'll have this embedded into your brain forever. I really hope if we beat Groudon that we find out what happened to these losers. Like, I know what happened. At least I think I do. But I don't remember how specifically it happened, so I'm curious to see how that goes. Here we go. Hello there, sir. Can we enter you in some chocolate? Yes, sir, with or without nuts. <laughs> chocolate. Chocolate. He's <laughs> like going insane. Oh, Groudon, buddy. I hate you so much. That's right. Pack on in there. There you go. Come on, you sardines. Yeah, this is a great time. You're just packed into darkness. Yeah, let, let's just ask a thought about this demon we just found. Yeah, that, that's great. That's a great idea, Corfish. You, uh, you're real smart there. Out of the question. Oh, I love how pathetic he is. Battle out of the question. It's throwing your life away. Murder. It really is because we can't seem to win. We just keep dying over and over again. Oh, 
All right, here we go. From the beginning, we win. Only 12? What the hell? What's a water move? Bruh. I don't understand what's happening. Why, what, why is he doing so little damage? He's freaking water. You're a ground and fire. You should be dying immensely right now. I don't, I don't understand. Water's not. Okay, you know what? Hold on. Because that's not really doing anything. Uh, we're also, we're going to select Peck. Why not? Go for it. Okay, Peck did even less. Peck, Peck did even less. Did even less. I regret my decision. Just stick with water. Stick with water. Do what you can. Nice! Okay. Why didn't you ever eat your orange berry, boy? You have one. You should have done something. Okay, we might win this. His health is getting low, I think. I wish there was a health bar to determine how low his freaking health was! I'd like to know if I'm close to even even coming close. Wait, something just happened. What? Ethan! You sick bastard, thank you so much, I love you. Oh god, but don't you die, buddy! Oh yes, water still does a lot of damage. Hang in there, Ethan! Oh, you did. GG. Alright, we got this, we got this, we got this, we got this. Come on, we got this! Come on! Oh, dear lord. Whoa! I did a lot of damage. Could that be the deciding factor? Badoo! Bruh, you're going down. You're not gonna live, Groudon! Yes! Freaking finally! Oh, dear god, that took forever. Oh, <sighs> <laughs> oh my god, Groudon! Oh my god! We did it! We defeated Groudon! Yes! Freaking yes! I hate Groudon! Oh my god, that was insane! Oh my god, what a battle! This guy is just. Oh my god. But. It's really. Uh, okay, what the hell? What the hell was that? Um, Groudon, what the hell just happened to him? Uh, Groudon disappeared! That was, that was not Groudon. That Groudon was nothing more than an illusion. Oh, so this was your doing! You twisted freak. Who said that? Like I said earlier, I am the guardian here, and I cannot allow you to pass. Wait, please! We're not here to cause trouble! We came only for information! Information, you say? Yes, that's the honest truth! Well, we admit that we're an exploration team, and we'd like to leave with treasure after all our effort. But we'll leave without any of you have a problem with that. We'll be happy to say that we just made it this far! Please! Please believe us! That's not convincing, Ethan, when you're begging them to believe you. Oh, well, I guess she's dumb as shit. Okay, fine, she'll just believe you. That's fair. <gasps> Oopsie! Oh wow, it's so cute. Let me welcome you then. I am Oopsie, the guardian of Fogbound Lake. <laughs> Did you say Oopsie? Yes, truly. I stand guard over something special that lies in Fogbound Lake. Now let me escort you to Fogbound Lake. Please come this way. Why didn't you just fight me as Oopsie? Why did I have to fight a freaking Groudon? I'm just saying. Yes, please! Get me the hell out of here. Oh, dear God. That, that was insanity. I, I, I don't even, I don't even know what to say, guys. Like, that was just, oh, I'm so glad it's over. Now I'm excited because that, again, in the previous Let's Play, that's as far as we got. And I have not watched any Let's Plays on this game. So, after this point, I have no, whoa, okay, that's pretty. I have no idea what to expect from this point forward. So, this is going to be cool. Oh. 
It's become dark outside. It may be a little difficult to see at night, but... Behold. Behold Fogbound Lake. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, it's so pretty. Wow. That's incredible. Who would expect to see such a big lake on a plateau so high up? And those floating volibeat and aluminous. So beautiful. Water constantly wells up from far below this place. It flows up so heavily that it has long formed this enormous lake. Now cast your eyes to the glowing area at the lake center. Yes, I see it. It's radiating from below. That blue-green radiance, right? Step forward for a closer look. Shoves us both in. <gasps> what could that be? I can't figure it out. But it's making my heart race. Why? Why should it stir me up so much? Why is my pulse speeding all of a sudden? That's fantastic, but... What is that? There's such a mystical quality. That is a time gear. What? That's a time gear? Yes, I guard the time gear. It's the sole reason I'm here. That must mean Mesprit and the others are guarding them. Oh yeah, Mesprit. I'm probably going to go after Mesprit, just saying. Because that smug little bastard, I need that thing on my team so much. Others before you have tried to trespass here. But I used my Groudon illusion to chase most of them off. Groudon? How'd you do that? That is something I create using my psychic abilities. Like so. I'm... There is no need to be startled. As I've said, it's just an illusion. That illusion broke my bones! What you fought was no more than that. There have been others before who defeated my crowd on illusion. They managed to make their way to this spot. But they were trespassers. So I took away their memories. And thus protected the lake. I'd like to know who defeated a Groudon. Thank you. Can I have their number? Took away their memories? Well, that's right. We hope to ask you something, Ooxie. Meet my partner, Lynx. Hello. At present, a Pokemon. At one time, a human. Oh, really? A human? Yes, but, well, uh, Lynx has lost all, all memory of being a human. So we're wondering, have you maybe met Lynx here before, Uxie? And did you, well, did you take away Lynx's memories? Because, uh, that would be bad. Has that ever happened? Did a human ever come here? Do you remember anything like that ever happening, Uxie? The answer is no. No human has ever come here. I should explain further. I erase only memories of Fogbound Lake. I cannot fully erase all memories from living beings. I had nothing to do with your friend's memory loss. Nor anything to do with your friend's transformation into a Pokemon. The cause lies elsewhere. Oh, well, that's okay. So it doesn't seem like you've been here after all, Lynx. Uxie, we hope to meet you to learn more about my partner. Uh... What's that? A time gear, a time gear. Well, too bad. Oh, Wigglytuff, we can't take a time gear. W Wigglytuff! Wow, fantastic. And who might miss me? That's our guildmaster. Glad to meet you, friend. Friend, friend, friend. Glad to greet you, friend, friend, amazing friend. Gaze upon this amazing view. I'm delighted we came. La dee la dee la dee. Got my ass be by the ground on. Yep. Look at all those colors. Fantastic. Uh, where the heck are they? Phew. Here at last. No time to get our breath. We gotta hurry. Hey, someone's over there. Let's go. It's gone on. Spit it out. Ding, ding, ding. Do 
Don't eat me, I'm not tasty! Hello to one and all. So what's wrong? The guild master! Oh, never mind that. Everyone, look out there. It's spouting. Pretty, pretty. Huh? What? What's happening? Whoa! The, the little man in the news. Yeah, look at them all. Oh my, it's shimmering. Yep, yep, some kind of pretty. Yes, the lake geyser erupts every now and then. It sends up water just like the fountain. And that time gear sends up illum illumination from below. While many illuminous and vulby glow upon the fountain of water in harmony, they are the very vision of beauty. The treasure, the treasure must be the view of Fogmore Lake. I'd believe it. That's a treasure in and of itself. Are you taking in this view, Lynx? This is so magical. It's really too bad that we didn't learn anything about your past, Lynx. But I'm glad we came. I'm happy that I got to see such a beautiful scene with everyone. I'm truly happy. I'm glad I came too, but... Sure, it's true we never learned who I am. Wait, hang on a minute. Lucy said... Lucy said he didn't know me. But if that's true... How did I know about this place? And that time gear... That's true! Wait! Then how... When I see that time gear, why does my pulse race when I see it? And this unease I feel, what does it mean? Dude... It's weird stuff. So sorry to have disturbed you. Had a fantastic time. Friend, friend, friend! I shall not take away your memories of this place. You have earned my trust. But I must ask that you keep this place a secret. Surely, thank you. We all know what we need to do. You know another time gear has been stolen? This one must stay safe. We won't ever say a word about this place. I swear it, in the name of Wigglytuff's Guild. Please hold true to that promise. Okay, let's be on our way. Shut up, if you will. I'll hop to it, Guildmaster. Everyone, we're going back to the Guild. All right, a successful mission. And so, the guild's long, challenging expedition finally came to an end. Wigglytuff and the members safely returned to the guild. The Lynx and the apprentices going to the guild meant taking up the standard training schedule. It was life as usual back at the guild. Wow, guys, life as usual? Wow. The clouds lifted from Fogbound Lake and its, and its surrounding areas. Good. Expedition team has sent a message. The Lynx team was rewarded a bigger bag. Excuse me. That's great. Sure, we'll save. And uh, I think I'm going to end this one once we get back to the guild hall. Let's see if there's like any extra dialogue we have to read. But we are going to be doing one more episode today because I do want to get a Baneri on camera. And I feel bad that this episode was nothing but just like, you know, grout on. So, Dust Noir! This guy! Okay! I have a lot to say about this guy. However, I'm going to keep quiet on that because it does get into what I believe are spoilers. But I remember him. I remember Dust Noir. Oh boy. I this is... Okay. Okay, now we're getting into, into territory that I've already been in. But if he's this early in the game, then maybe I never even got close to beating this game. Because Dust Noir is like one of the very last things I remember about this game. So maybe... Maybe I was wrong. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Until then, bis beta!